Okay, finally back after, what is it, two days? Um, long story short, uh, raid yet last night was, okay, it's only been a day. Raid last night was terrible. I'm glad I decided to stop streaming. It was so terrible that when we finished it, uh, really, really early, earlier than we were supposed to, um, I was too mad and depressed about it to play 16, so that's why I didn't come back last night. But, uh, yeah, now we're back. I was watching Niji Sanji stuff, so, um, that's why it took me so long, but yeah, now we're back. Welcome right. back, Sid. I keep forgetting everyone's gonna call me Sid now, huh? Items around here. Let's go check out the new hideaway. Again. Oh, hey, look, there's a trading area. Alright. Nope, oh, chill. Otto will want to know what happened in Cosmos. I expect he'll be in the mess. So, uh, like we ended off. Uh, last time. Apparently five years have passed since, uh, we took out one of the Mother Crystals and Sid, uh, Sid died. And I guess we've taken over, we've taken over the mantle of Sid. Staying on this time. Literally and figuratively. Because we now everyone just calls us Sid. Um, have we any more knuckle pies? Does that one have blood on it? What's up, Jaren? Is it business or pleasure? Uh, ask about the past five years. It's only been five years since we left the old place. I Time remember flies. it like it was yesterday. We were all waiting to treat Sid to a hero's welcome when Kuka's lot turned up. Not that we knew it was them. They just poured in like a plague of rats, cutting down anyone and anything that stood in their way. Blood and bodies everywhere. There was... And a voice crying out for Sid to save us in the midst of it all. I'll never forget those cries. Try as I You're our leader now, Clive. Promise me you won't let anything like that happen again. Promise me that won't, that come what may, Sid will save us. Sheesh. Wait, won't hear me complaining. It's even roomier than the old one was. Got my own stores, my own little counter, and thanks to you lot fighting the good fight, plenty of demand for my the wares. Drawback. The only drawback is the constant bloody racket. If not Dory's and Otto barking their orders, it's Blackthorn and. Bardolph banging away day and night. Still, still, if a pain in the ears holds the price I have to pay to be Sid, the outlaw's partner in crime, I'd say I got myself a bargain. Sheesh. Going purse weighing you down. Not really. Oh, that's a lot. Increases limit break generation amount by 6% when taking damage. Increases limit break amount when dealing damage to 10%. Automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Accessory will not trigger unless the ability charged magic is learned. That's an interesting charm, actually. Kind of want to buy it, actually. Do I have any valuables? Doesn't give me that much. I'll have to come back and get that jar. Oh, elixirs. You'll not find a better price than that. You got elixirs now, huh? Finished, right. are you? What do you need? What do you want? Oh, we got a new sword, Levant Bolt. Not bad. If I do say so myself. And? Ooh, that looks clean. That looks clean. I like that. I like how that sword looks. 
All right. Um. Off limits. That means you. Okay. Well, off limits. What's the hole swept? What the heck is this? Is this supposed to be my room? Wall of memories. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, so this is gonna fill up, isn't it? Jeez. The oath. Created the day Clive pledged his allegiance to Sid. This crystal shard transfixed with twin, twin daggers is a powerful reminder of a promise made, a friendship forged, and a legacy inherited. Sheesh. So I guess we'll eventually fill that up. Alright. Just gib. Alright, no more dilly dallying. Let's go to where the quest is. We'll have time to do more stuff afterwards. Just kidding. What's this? I guess stage for playing stuff. Alrighty. It's actually crazy that. Okay, so. All operations are suspended until further notice. Yes, Captain. I'll let the others know. Okay, so it's obvious that Sid didn't behead Benedicta and send it to. Kupka. So who did, first of all? I can feel it. Who did, first of all? And why did they, how did they find the body of Benedicta and just cut off the head and send it to him? There's definitely some trickery going on here somewhere. Uh, all right. What's up, Otto? Oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the force he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. We have a new face. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Oh, is this... Oh, did... Did... Was it Harpocrates? Or Harpocrates? The, the other the other guy with the tomes did they did they pat did they get killed in the attack I trust I'm not intruding back from your mission I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone Vivian Vivian nine tails a scholar and strategist who makes her home in the hideaway analyzing every shred of information that comes in from the wider world in order to divine the dispositions of the realm's armies and those who lead them. She offers her insight to Clive that he might better understand the lay of the land. The moniker Nine Tales, of which she herself is fond, was gifted her by her fellow scholars in recognition of her ability to speak at length on almost any subject. That's cool. Freaking awesome. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? 
But the real question is, how did we get here? Oh. Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraquois boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. What's up, Owl Snake? But certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? Jeez, war is about to happen. That's crazy. How goes the gaming? We you were just born started. Twin side. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet, in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me, and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. For another of my lectures. Allow me to educate you. I speak with Vivian in the Hideaways map room. Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current going ons in Valistia. You visit any of the Nine Tales past lessons or take a deep look into the relationships of, the, of those individuals in Clive's orbit. Oh boy. Of course. The grand cast here you can view a detailed visualiz visualization of character relationships in ff16 that updates as you progress through the main scenario use l1 r1 to cycle through individual pivotal milestones in clive's adventure so this, this is at the very beginning So we just haven't seen her since. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. I see here. All right. So his father Elwyn died. See the hooded man, the dominant of fire. Still don't know who exactly this is. Oh, it's it's supposed to. It was supposed to be us at the very beginning. Okay. Or it's it's been us the whole time. So that's why I was wondering. dead lose her life at the hands of Clive Rossfield and his icon Ifrit alright Wade was to meet the same fate as the prince 
Jeez. She's dead. Daryl's dead. Tiamat died because we killed him. Lamau. Hannah. This is this is freaking crazy. Sid passed. We discovered Ultima. So yeah, Joshua sealed it away. Sheesh. Hugo and Benedict were lovers. This is so cool. Okay, so no, it looks like what's this? Old friend of autos from Merchant Seaman. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, I see. Cyrus is still around. Gav. Gav had his eye cut though. So where where is Gav actually? So the chunk, our chunkabo is still out there somewhere. Medicine girl, an orphan girl who pays her bread by making and selling medicines. Wonder if we'll see them at all. All right, well Benedict is dead, dead. All right, well. Study it well, Clyde. What the fuck? This is insane. This is just straight up insane. That's the state of the realm is ever changing, Clive. It's been a good bit since I caught a stream. It hasn't been that long. It's been like a couple days All at most. Alright. Let us continue. Sorry, I was getting sidetracked with that. I still forget about like some features in the game. Cool. Everyone seems so happy to see us. It's good to be home. True. So yeah, I said it. I think last stream that I'm just not gonna do any side quest anymore all right so you did survive Hippocrates now that is a name I have not heard for a long time so long in fact I had half forgotten it was mine welcome home Clive you were missed as always I believe this belongs to you Vivian asked me to return it Ready. <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same, but alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. Oh, they were, Owl? I'll, I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. You're not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> what do you mean there's no such thing as Moogles? Since when did that become a thing? The twins seem well. Oh, Aussie time. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. 
The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. Sheesh. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will Good be back day. Soon. I should get some rest while I can. Oh, Gav is out. Alright. Tarja! Not back or a Thari blink, and uh, you're already Thari? off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. She's so hot. Otto stole us. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. I wonder if we're gonna raid tomorrow. Good Our freaking healer's gonna be out better. tomorrow, so. I wonder if we're even gonna be able to raid. We probably will, but like, man. I'm not gonna lie. I love this tier, but the. Uh, I don't know what to say. Eh, we'll just leave that those thoughts for later. Um, okay. Where are we going? Going over here. Oh, uh, yeah, this tall? is our room. Hey, Jill. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Gotcha. Alright. Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see... I'll see you are done to wear upon my return. Alright. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randalar in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. Clive, my guy, it's been five years and you still have not we've come. made a move. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. Oh, so... He knows he's alive. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out. To Ultima.
I swear if the game if we get to the end of the if game and we have to life he'll be looking for that that thing Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. I did all I'm saying is the game better not end with us actually just having to destroy our brother again. Cause that's gonna piss me off. To a world without mother crystals. Oh the music. But yeah, I was gonna say, Josh, uh, so he, oh! Look at my, dude, grown up even more. Bro's a, a, bro's a red mage. And so the north is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, your grace. But this, this is far far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Yeah, um, I like I like the tier. I like the tier. It's just, I think our prog speed on twelve has Hello, me a bit. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. Um, it's just the prog, the prog, like, how, how prog's Welcome been for 12 specifically. Specifically 12, even though I love the fight. Um, it's just been kind of depressing sometimes, and I'm just like, that's not even to say I haven't made any mistakes, because of course I have. I'm not freaking perfect. But it's just sometimes I'm just like, what is even going on? I'm like, like, I'm just like... I feel like we should have cleared the tier, like, a week or two ago. But, uh, you know. Again, no point in, like, just worrying about it now. It's done, it's done. Oh, yeah, that's right, we can't. Just, I don't know. Still like the tier. Still think, uh, the first and the third tiers are definitely the best tiers. Um, the second tier I just tried to forget because uh, over the overall experience of that tier was uh, not really good. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastport, the Empire has been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming their traitors to the Holy Throne conspiring to restore the house of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers weak enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. She's fallen into the hands of the Empire. We could be next. 
couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Alrighty, well, gotta go help our friend Martha. Martha! What's up, up silently? How you doing? Oh, that's all I meant to do. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Side quest? Nah. What's the goal? What happened here? Whoa. Come on. What the heck going on here? Need to find the others. Best off staying where we are for now. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. The Imperials have already left. Oh boy. Found her. I've found enough of them. They've killed my bear. I demand. That's all you did. Oi, look sharp! Hey, what? Bro's bear is dead, and all he's like, oh man, I want money. Oh my gosh, I hate this system. Let's get you to a physica, shall we? Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. I Martha feel that to absurdly. Tried to calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. God bastards. Jid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. All right. But um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. A culling. You do the same. Oh, well, that's not good. Coal is what. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. That's a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Is our mother doing something dumb again? Or is it just Kuka working again? Makes no sense. Yo. Good. If those Orsons touch an arrow on Martha's head, I'll kill them all myself. Oh yeah, that's the guy who was talking to us about the mercenary. Or those the mercenary from a while ago. Understandable though, buddy. Down, buddy. It's okay. Right. No more dilly dallying. We gotta go. Holy crap! Just the weather change. Just the lighting and the fog. It looks so cool. Look up ahead. Whoa. Arthur, are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. What the fuck? Then, they may still be alive. Martha, 
Do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. I'm going to be honest, man. There ain't no way we make it in time. Black Shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. <laughs> Alright, Chocobos, we don't got time for you right now. Sorry, we out. Company. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. God damn it, man. Why? No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. <sighs> Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. <sighs> you should have fucking run away. These two aren't turned. <sighs> That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. Blah, 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 blah. You talk too much. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Oh yeah. You you know it. Come here. I ain't wasting time with you guys. You just gotta be suffering. So our mother has gone and made a evil version of the shields that, you know, we used to be part of. Great. Is that all of them? I think so. Level up. Level 26. Pog. Gouge decreased by three seconds. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Where? Oh, somewhere back here. The bearers died protecting him, calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. He's alive, or we got one alive. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. 
continue. Rosaria will never be safe unless we save her. Tell Mom to beg Sil's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. In here, we found a survivor. Clive, he's dead, isn't he? He's gone. God damn it. We've laid the other to rest. But the bearers. They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the Abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Riddick's jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust to himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Oh. Actually, that's the wrong title. Well, no. There we go. Sun ain't even out, man. It's all doom and gloom. Oh, you're new. Oh, there's a bounty. So that's how I'm gonna get a bunch of a gill. Notorious marks. Come on. Do you think it's spotted us, Torval? What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. <laughs> just happened doom how the heck do I get rid of that we're not to move
Oh, I went the wrong fucking way. Just said a Suna grow up. All right, it's not gonna get me again. Oi, look sharp. Come here. Okay, 
Those are no joke. That one was kind of annoying, though. Also, I need to figure out something else with Sid's stuff. I eh, won't make it work. You didn't see that coming. Good one, Clive. That's better. <sighs> Well, that's interesting, and there's definitely going to be more of those, so that'll be fun. That must be the bridge. Okay, we've already opened that. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Back to Martha's Rest we go then. Jeez, man. A lot of development. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Hey, Martha. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. I did, and I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. Those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people. They're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? Jeez, I want to go longer if you wish. slap her. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up. If you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers. I'm not gonna Dude, I've been sick of this freaking woman since the since freaking day one, man. Why why is why is she still alive? Why is our mom still alive? Like dude, she she caused the accident at Phoenix Gate. She she Never cared for us because we didn't have the phoenix inside of her. Because yeah, it's possible for two freaking, it's two for two people to have the phoenix inside of them. I don't know what you expected. Like, like it's just, oh, it just angers me. She's just so annoying. Oh, back to the hideaway we go, dude. She, it has been 18 years since we've even seen her. She does not deserve to last this long. Where's Gav?
Give. Ah, Clive, have I missed that scowl? Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. Lay it to us, bro. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Mm. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath near Ironholm. Drake's Fang in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine in Walud. And Drake's Tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port is older who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the dread magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh? <laughs> We've got the hunt board. Alliant reports the patrons whisper in the hunt board. Nice. for indeed I don't feel so thirsty all of a sudden the brand is off Clive's face yeah it's been five years since he last had it Gosh, I really hate this headset's wire sometimes, man. Oh my gosh. 
so annoying. Alright. Last thing I remember was watching back in the forest with Sid, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, they didn't, they, from the last time you watched, it wasn't that big of a time skip. Um, unfortunately, we wear the, we wear the name, uh, Sid now, because Sid passed away, and, uh, what is it, uh, we have his name, we, uh, took his, we took up the mantle of him, literally and figuratively, because he also gave us his powers before he died. Now we got the power of Ramu. I don't think I like this much. I might have to see if I can upgrade it so that it's any better. Okay, you can upgrade it once it looks like. But uh, so far I don't really like this ability. So far I'm not really... vibing too much with it with the uh, ramu stuff again we'll just have to see what happens when we upgrade stuff there's one right. let us let us commence forth oh wait the hump board the hump board the hump board, the hump board. there's trouble in rosaria that yeah a lot has happened um, Kuka, uh, was it Hugo, who was the dominant of the Doesn't Titan, like uh, is trying to kill us because someone who is not Sid, uh, or at least I don't think it was yeah, Sid, to carry you there. Drake's breath, um, someone sent him Benedicta's head in a, in a coffer. And now he's pissed at us because was it a uh, the person who sent the coffer said it was from Sid, which I don't think Sid would do that. Like I I, I really don't think he would do that. So someone's gaslighting us here, or gaslighting people here. But uh, you know. What's the matter, Nectar? The hunt board. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted. Doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment. That's not gaslighting. The people I'm saying gaslighting just because that's the word I said before and I can't stop saying it. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's gaslighting. Alright. What do we got here? The Angel of Death, Clairview, Simbrek, The Broken Hilt, and Rosaria. Angel of Death, Clairview, Simbrek. All right, chat. How are we feeling? Should we go? Should we go do a little bit of hunting? Player view some break. Well, I don't think we could go there anyways right now, right? Yeah, I don't think we could go there anyways. Alright. But we can go here.
Now, this one gives us 10k. This was in uh, the Broken Hills of Rosaria. Alright, well, let's get to it then. Yeah, someone's framing, framing Sid, or us now, so, since we're Sid, he's not really going to know the difference, I guess. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Torgal? I'm kind of on the copium that Benedict is still alive, today. but... Return to Iron Home. For what? Well, for one, so we could... After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together, then. To the end. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can go slap our mom, finally. She deserves way more than a slap in the face, but, uh... You know. Bloodlines. Alright, chat. Don't forget, if the audio seems out of sync at any point in time, just let me know, because apparently it will just randomly do that. So, just let me know if that happens. I cannot save. Why? How far do you think your mother's reach extends? I still cannot save. That's not. Will cool. we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Out of our way. <laughs> Okay, so the the hunt would be there. Wait, I can go there right now, actually. Yeah, because I just went... Oh, perfect. Actually, let's go there right now, then. Now I can save. Alright. Broken hilt, huh? This way. Not there. Oh, is he up here? He's probably up here.
There you are. You're my target. Bell figure. Alrighty, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Sorry, I gotta be focused. These marks are actually like interesting to fight. They're not like just some small freaking pushover mobs, which is nice. I'm rich. Oh, there aren't any more of them. I should definitely restock up on stuff, probably. Eventually, I forgot to do that while I was back at the thing. All right, well, back to our main objective.
Yeah, I do make it look easy because I'm just him, you know. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a big deal. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you. Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befalls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. Oh boy. This scene of like the black armor is just you pissing me off. You're a long way from home, aren't you? Oh, can I buy a potion? God damn it. You won't be disappointed. I can't. There you are. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Okay, nice. You won't be disappointed. There you are. Much obliged. Keep to the roads now. Alright. Yo. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. Sure, man. I got you. Don't worry. As a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire? What with their hundred full legions? Sure. A hundred full legions versus uh, an, uh, two icons? That seems like a fair matchup, honestly. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think there was a Black Shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. <laughs> if only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. Sure, man. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here. But your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This oh, okay. village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. Whatever you say, buddy. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Yeah. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... 
It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Alrighty. To the next village, I guess, then. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Oh! You guys are still out about. Oh. Ever since this whole entry, I've been producing more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking you? The mother crystals collapse? I have an idea. You're not going to like it. Give me a favor and burn. Self-destruct. What the heck? What is this? Oh, it's a chest. Bullhorn's braid. Interesting. I'm hoping that this upgrade makes it charge faster. That'd probably be nice if that did that. Self-destruct, yeah. It's just like Final Fantasy XIV. Well, I see a monster I haven't fallen before. Actually, I have fallen on those before, what am I saying? Go that way yet. I wanna go this way. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, no, they're just cool. Blue Mage moment. <laughs> Blood, Clive. Uh oh. And still wet. It was like Thorgal found him last year. You were told to stay in your homes. Oh my gosh, do you ever oh, stop talking? Here be food time? Alright. Hurry back quick. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Yeah, you guys are nothing. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. Cool, didn't ask. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. Shut up. On oh these, God. our swords we swear. Say that again. Oh my God. Why do you freaking swear on these nuts? How about that? <laughs> Oh, so you guys aren't pushovers. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <sighs> they await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. All right. Well, you gotta go. But first, what's over here? Actually, wait. I literally. What am I talking about? I literally. Oh, okay. First, there's a monster up here I want to fight.
level up. We're level 27. He's dead. All right, now we can hurry to the place. After I go get the shiny over here. <laughs> Man, when are we gonna be able to get our mount? There's more. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I mean, no, there's stuff over here. Is that thing dead or is that thing dead or just sleeping? I think it's sleeping.
Now we're done. Oh, hey, hey we have enough. I don't know what that's exactly going to do, but... Oh! It's the ball of lightning thing that if you hit the ball of lightning, it, uh... It changed to other enemies. Interesting. I think I want to start upgrading Rook's Gambit. So I'm going to probably save, save some more of stuff. Actually, let's reset, actually. What the heck? Is that what happens if I use it in midair? Oh no, that's what happens if I hit the counter. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Alright, and then... As fun as this is, actually, hold up, I gotta reset again. This is why this feature is so cool. Did I upgrade something? Oh, I upgraded Rising Flames. Hmm. In that case, I'll wait a bit to master this then. rising flames I think it just upgrades the move as a whole just a harder hit all right so yeah I think I'm I think I'm thinking I think I'm digging this so far actually I 
Okay, what does Bastard in this do? Ah, okay. Jeez. Final time for real. Well, now. I'm gonna have to edit all this out. Oh, is it longer range? Is that what it is? It's longer range. Do I want that? Is that worth it? I don't know what upgrading this does. I think I probably should upgrade this or invest in just like a little bit into this, if anything. I think I'm fine with the Deadly Embrace as it is right now, so it's fine. Alright, yeah, no, I'll just save this. What's up, Dev? How you doing? I think you missed the Chocobo side quest. What? The, like, the, there's a side quest to unlock your freaking mount? That's kind of dumb. That the, if they wouldn't point that out. The White Winged Wander. Is this it? Is this what you're taught? Uh, I'm tempted, but, uh... I also do not want to run all the way down there, so, I don't know. I'm tempted if this is it, actually. I'm, wond I'm wondering if that is it. Unlock quests are mic marked with like a plus, like 14. Okay, well then that's unlocking something. So we're gonna go get that. Yeah, we're just gonna go get that now. Whatever that is. I don't think I had plus quests that I missed before I left. After what the I think I don't know. I probably, I might have. Right, if that's the case, I'm gonna pause the recording. Actually, I'm just gonna end the recording real quick.